This is John T for the Boxing Voice, and I'm joined by featherweight Louis Lynn. How you doing, mate? Yes, John. I'm good, mate. You all right? Yeah, I'm really good. Thanks, good for, uh, you, thanks for asking. Good to see you. Well, look, how's the cut on the eye? Yes, yeah, going really well, thanks, John. Healing up nicely. See you, Take care, of you. Right, so, yeah. It's getting there. Yeah. I think it's pretty much almost ready to work. I want to, I want to spar it now and start getting back into it, but um, I think we're going to have to wait now, unfortunately, till February. Yeah. Because uh, I don't think I'll be able to get out this year now. No, that's fair enough. You've got to be safe and make sure it heals properly. So talk yeah. us through the night. Firstly, you, you were headlining a card yeah, at the right. Copper Box Arena. So how was that for the first time, headlining a big card live on BT Sport? Yeah, no, nah, it's good. It was, it, it's good. Uh, it's a lot. It's uh, more pressure. You know, it's more... But I know, obviously... I'm prepared that, uh, 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 and, and uh, they say pressure makes diamonds, but that's where you got to perform, you know what I mean? And I was thinking like, um, yeah, this is it, this is everything, my whole life's come down to, to this moment now, so I need, to, uh, I need to go out there and smash it. And, yeah, thank God I got the victory, it wasn't uh, my best performance, but I still, uh, still found a way to win and I'm only going to learn and get better, I believe, so. Yeah, you definitely did. Now look, it was a good fight. On paper, it looked like a good fight. It yeah. was a headline, so it didn't disappoint. What did you learn from the fight? Um, well, I suppose to deal with the pressure of being, like you say, main event, because uh, uh, you know my style anyway, I like to let my hands go, and I think even more so, I was a bit uh, hyped, you know, like because I'm main event thinking, oh, I've got to like... But now, I feel, now I've been there at the main event, I can still uh, think I just relax a little bit more, because sometimes... Um, yeah, when I got caught, it's because I'd be in too keen. And, uh, yeah, I suppose, cause I, know I, wanted to, I just wanted to impress and, and perform and get a, big, get a big win. But just maybe, yeah, I think I learned just to relax just that little bit more, take my time, and then, and then go. And the cut, I think that come from a clash of heads, right? Yeah. And it was a round to go? Yeah, round, yeah, the end of round nine, yeah. So, so it went to the scorecards early, which you rightly won, that's mm. what the judges done. Yeah, would it yeah. be, would you fancy a rematch, or do you want to go in a different route Yeah, now? I'm happy to, I'm happy to rematch him and fight anyone, obviously, so I'm not worried. Really. Has that been talked about at all? I know, obviously, you've got to let the cut heal yeah. first, but is well, it... Well, I did have a, I had a look, I had a chat with Martin about it, and he said, um, when he's got something, you know, to offer as well, like another title or something down the line, then yeah, listen, like, you know what I mean, I'm sure it will be a, a good fight and, and I'm sure I'll compete him more convincingly and uh, yeah, I know, I know what he's about, you know what I mean, he's just waiting to count punch and he expected me, I suppose, to come forward and that's what I did all, all the time and I was getting frustrated because he kept holding me and stuff like that, but, but yeah, I can, do, uh, I, I can do a bit of everything, I believe, and God's willing, I just keep, keep learning now, I'm blessed I've got the best team here, Martin Bauer, Ray, Adam and Eric, Andre. And I'm learning every day now, and where I ain't got the day, I can just, just relax a little bit more as well, and just, yeah, every day's a learning day, isn't it? Good stuff, mate. Well, look, great catching up with you as always. We wish you well and hope that heals, yeah. and we look forward to seeing you in the new year uh, so on much, some big John. fights. I appreciate that. Thanks for coming down and giving me an interview. And also, just quickly, John, I want to say massive thank you to my sponsors because if it weren't for them, especially like now when I ain't fighting, they're keeping me uh, in the gym. And yeah, they made it possible for me. So, big shout out to MR Scaffolding, um, Carey's, Heroes of Heretic Whiskey, and Phoenix uh, Living. My uncle Ryan yeah, thanks a lot. And thanks for watching and uh, supporting John and me and all the boys. And uh, yeah, God bless you, Take No care. worries, mate. Good to see, see you. All the best, bud. Cheers. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the patreon.com backslash the boxing voice. We have tons of exclusive from Border Wars, from Tidal, betting shows, the list goes on and on and on. But in addition to that, if you guys have questions for fighters, trainers, and promoters, this is where you can submit them. We will run out, get these questions answered, and put it back on the show just for you guys. Appreciate it. Peace.